Hello, starting from version 24, Atomic supports UTF-8. And I'll be blunt and say it straight out, that's mandatory, not optional. This means that you will only be able to run your version 24 Atomic on a database with UTF-8 encoding. If it happens so that your existing Atomic database uses a different character encoding than UTF-8, then you need to take action. So let's begin. What is UTF-8? UTF-8 is an encoding system for Unicode characters, one of the ways of how Unicode characters are stored. By the way, the Unicode character set contains more than 1 million characters. Atomic supports only anti-character sets up to and including version 21. So, for example, ISO 88591, also known as Latin 1, these ANSI chassés have a maximum of 256 characters. Practical, I say, since 256 characters can be stored in one byte. Yet, with the coming of UTF-8 with over a million characters on board, this is no longer possible. Therefore, in UTF-8 encoding, a character requires a maximum of 4 bytes for storage. The first 128 characters are the same as in all ANSI character sets. Therefore, they still take place of only one single byte. You may probably know these 128 characters under the term ASCII. Here are a few examples. No matter whether it's ASCII, ANSI or UTF-8, the character capital A is stored with the same value everywhere. The copyright symbol is not included in ASCII. In Western ANSI encodings, it is stored in one byte. Here you see the value. In UTF-8 encoding system, the copyright symbol requires two bytes, and surely you want to know what these values are. And you're welcome to. Here you can see the values of the both bytes. And then there are hundreds of thousands of characters like that that do not occur in the usual ANSI encoding, but do appear frequently in UTF-8 encoding. Some of them even need as many as four bytes, like these two emojis here. By definition, UTF-8 is a method, an encoding utilizing which there can be stored more than 1 million different characters in 1 to 4 bytes per character. So in order for your version 24 atomic system to effectively accommodate such a diverse range of characters, it is imperative that your database adopts and employs UTF-8 encoding. If your database already utilizes UTF-8 encoding, then you are ready for version 24. If that's not the case, then you need to convert your database to UTF-8 encoding. As already stated, the conversion is mandatory. Version 24 will only work with a database with UTF-8 encoding. It's also worth mentioning that even if after conversion some characters consume two bytes instead of one, no data is lost in the process. On the contrary, numerous fields will also be expanded starting from version 24. Why should ABI users look forward to UTF-8 encoding? The support of the Unicode character set allows you to use a wide variety of characters and even emojis in Atomic. This, for instance, applies to usernames, where I, as a directly affected person, can finally be happy with the correct spelling of my name. Reports benefit from the usage of UTF-8 just as well. With the new encoding system, it will be possible to output complex international character sets such as Bulgarian, Greek or Japanese characters. What's also great is that now you don't have to stick to a single character set. You can now seamlessly combine multiple characters and fonts in a single report with emojis. Let's now talk about emojis. At first glance, these may come off just like a simple impractical gimmick. But, you know, like the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. Unicode contains over 3,000 emojis. This way, you can express yourself in a concise yet detailed way. For example, by incorporating references to distinctive features embedded within the object titles. There are other advantages coming with the conversion that may not be so important for the individual customer, but make sense overall. Up until now, for technical reasons, you had to go for a single byte encoding for an atomic system. So, for example, if you were to engage clients with diverse requirements regarding the supported character sets, it was not possible to accommodate them on the same atomic system. UTF-8 finally brings everything under one roof. Atomic is therefore easier to offer and operate as an international SaaS application, especially when compared to the former maze of single byte character sets. Now you are probably wondering which components influence the subject of UTF-8 in the architecture of Atomic. In short, Unicode can be utilized only by the components that have been specifically developed for UTF-8. 
The good news is that you actually can run your database with UTF-8 character encoding, even if your Atomic version does not support UTF-8 at the moment. Yes, this means that the converted database can be used with Atomic version 21 or 12.3. It is therefore very much advisable to convert your database to UTF-8 first, before upgrading to an Atomic version that supports UTF-8. It is very important in this constellation that the database driver performs the character conversion on the fly. The database connection must therefore be set to the encoding of the application so that the driver can mediate between the UTF-8 encoding of the database and the ANSI encoding of the application. If the application supports UTF-8, i.e. from Atomic version 24, then the database connection must also be reconfigured to UTF-8. Even if the AVI, the automation engine, the database connection, and the database itself support UTF-8, this does not necessarily mean that the advantages of the Unicode character set can be utilized everywhere. Reports from agents of version 21 or lower will continue to be coded to sets utilized by these agents. Only and only when the agent does as well support UTF-8 can you finally use emojis in your reports. And only then can Unicode be utilized in the jobs linked to the agents. For the old agents, all characters are converted in a way so they correspond to the Latin code bridge. If a character does not have a direct equivalent, it is replaced by a question mark. So, how do you get a database that supports UTF-8? Firstly, check whether your database isn't already configured with UTF-8. For instance, for PostgreSQL databases, Atomic recommends utilizing UTF-8 encoding from the outset. However, the database can also be operated with UTF-8 encoding on the other database systems, even if the installed Atomic version does not support UTF-8. If you have determined that your database has an ANSI character set, then you have several options of how to get yourself a UTF-8 database. For example, you could start with an empty system for the upgrade to version 24, and only migrate the objects into the system. This is a popular method of version upgrades for many of our customers. However, it can be that you may want or need to perform an in-place upgrade. In this case, you definitely should convert the database to UTF-8 beforehand. For that, you can use tools and instructions from the database manufacturer. Every manufacturer offers instructions like such, and for every database, there are tools for converting from ANSI to UTF-8. The drawback is that the majority of these instructions and tools require downtime. However, the process of converting an entire Atomic database, including all archive data, can take hours, days, or even weeks, depending on the size of the database. It is therefore quite possible that an Atomic downtime may not be feasible during the process of the database conversion, at least not without users putting a bounty on your head. That's why Atomic provides a tool specifically designed for data conversion. It converts the archive data into a new database during operation without downtime. The existing Atomic database is not changed in the process. Downtime is necessary solely for the conversion process related to the object and execution data. However, this downtime is very short, as this particular data is generally not very ample. Upon the successful completion of the conversion process, switch to the copied database of your Atomic system during the short downtime, this way concluding the migration to the Unicode database. The tool is accessible in a form of an action pack, utilizing SQL statements to convert the data. So, now you have a brief idea of what to expect from UTF-8 update in Atomic version 24.